In 2013, the ribbon was cut on the Hazelton One Community Center. The center is the brainchild of Chicago Cubs manager and Hazelton native Joe Madden. Now, five years later, more than 300 people enter its doors each day. We stop by to see a typical day in the life of this local community center. We got there just as students were arriving for the after school program. How many are you seeing come in the door each day? Right now, we're at full capacity. We have 85. 85 is our maximum. And we are fully enrolled. We begin kindergarten to eighth grade. Wow. So they come here right after school. Do they get dropped right off school. by their parents or by a bus? Or uh, No. Uh, they either walk. We have quite a few students who walk. A lot of them walk from the castle uh, to here. And, um, and some of them are brought by their parents. This is our fifth year having an after school program. However, this year we have a whole new curriculum and we are a fully accredited after school program. Elaine Madden Curry is the program director. As she guided the children for snacks, we stopped in to see the center's executive director, Ben Medina. Well, it's a crazy week, and uh, although a crazy day, we start at 8, 8.30 in the morning. Um, our pre-K start at 9 o'clock, so you will see parents coming through the doors at 8.45, rushing because they had to go to work. And our pre-K is from 9 to 3 p.m. It's a bilingual setting. We follow a curriculum for that. So they're not here just um, as a daycare because it's not a daycare, it's a curriculum-based uh, program. So they're learning. Medina says the Head Start Pre-K program is just one of many programs offered for all ages. Then we have uh, a lot of people coming in for different classes, adult classes especially, uh, ESL, GD, uh, citizenship, we have people just coming asking information for different things in the city like uh, where is welfare office where is the ymca you know so we do a lot of refer to different agency one feature that especially caught my attention our program is called after school scholars and we treat our students as if they are scholars and we expect them not only to act like scholars but to achieve as scholars after a snack, the students head off to their classrooms that feature a variety of activities, including a brand new STEM or science, engineering, technology and math program. We are starting a curriculum this year. It is called Engineering uh, is Elementary. And it's starting with the third grade to the um, seventh grade. Um, and the kindergarten to second grades, they're in a special reading. We have a reading curriculum for them. This is our new STEM lab, and our students um, will be doing, here's projects that they will be doing, and our students use this area here when they're doing their projects, some of, some of their projects. They will be sitting in this area of the cafeteria, and then we utilize this space. And then this is also, we were talking about our new curriculum, our engineering, and here's, this would be one of the uh, lessons would be engineering ice cream. The education process also involves students at Penn State University's main campus. This class, uh, third and fourth, will be doing virtual tutoring with Penn State. That means one day a week, each one of these students will have a student studying to be a teacher on the other end of the computer. On the Penn State end, our students are learning so much from all the things that the students, the scholars at HIP are providing us, like their, their backgrounds, their lived experiences. And so it is, some of it is homework help and some of it is enrichment. But academics are not the only focus. But we also realize uh, gym is important, physical activity is important, as well as putting art and music into the curriculum. A good place that now has a waiting list for admission. Our oldest class now, many of those students have been with us for five years, and we have seen tremendous growth. Uh, some of our students are interested in going into the STEM school. So they graduate, they leave us in eighth grade, uh, if we know that they're interested in the STEM school or they want to go to the high school or they want to go to the arts and humanities, we encourage that and we also 
tell our students that we will be with them as long as they need us. This mural here at the center was actually painted by the students during their art class. While it may appear to be a beautiful painting on the wall, this project actually helped the students to grow both educationally and emotionally. First they came up with a theme and they decided they wanted to do a tree and the person who had a complete tree done, we blew that tree up and then it organically grew as someone said, oh, we need a, we need a, um, a, a house in there, we need um, some animals. And, um, and someone said, well, I want only a, a cut off tree. And I said, that's really expressing yourself well. Um, and so he did a cut off tree, but then he put a Dominican flag in it and expressed himself very well. And toward the end of the, the project, he, um, he put a, a nest of eggs in there and um, therapeutically that's, that's a nice symbol of, of, of regrowth after, um, or some growth after feeling like they've been cut off from their former country or their former life. One of the students who has been here since the beginning is Christopher Cordova, an eighth grade student. Christopher, you've been coming here for five years already. Yeah. You must like it here. This is like a home, like I grew up here. What have you done over the five years? Like, how have you changed, and what have you learned here? It changed me, like my life. Like, this is like an activity to come after school, so I won't be bored at home. My friends are here too, and the teacher here, I love them, so they're all nice. While I could spend hours showing you the many activities, the bottom line is this. One of the measures of our uh, success, I think you can ask the parents and the students, um, most of our students, they're returning students. So that is why we have so few spots every year to offer because the majority of our students come back year after year. So I think the parents are very pleased with the results and I think the students uh, get a lot of joy coming here. For more information or to become a volunteer, call the Hazleton One Community Center at 570-861-8081 or visit hazeltonintegrationproject.com. Reporting for SSPTV News, I'm Lisa Sugart.